Hello friends and welcome to today's Pick Your Card video. I am Laura Serena and today I am going to be doing a spread, a pick your card um, spread to help you guys figure out what's blocking you, what you need most, mm -hmm. and how to remove the block. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some incense lit. I'm having major issues with lighting my incense today. I don't know what's going on. We'll do that. Okay, so what you can do is go ahead and focus on these three piles, pile one, two, and three, and just pick whichever one that you are feeling most called to, and um, we'll go ahead and get started. Just use your intuition. Um, don't doubt yourself. Don't second guess yourself. Just go with the first thing that comes to mind and we'll get started. So for pile one, um, this is the thing that you need most, what's blocking you and how to remove the block. So the thing that you need most is rejuvenation, rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit with a fresh and renewed approach to life. So we most need regeneration right now in our lives. If you picked pile one, so what is blocking you? Okay, you are being blocked by the Eight of Pentacles. And for me, the Eight of Pentacles is all about um, Pentacles being earthy, the earth, element of earth, um, dealing with your home, your finances, your career, that type of thing. And then how to remove the block, we've got the seven of acorns, um, which is determination and stamina. And that would be acorns is the element of fire. So right now you most need in your life to rejuvenate. You need to take time out and put some effort into, I'm sorry about the incense smoke here guys, it's going right that way. Um, you need to put some focus into kind of um, coming up with new ways to do the things that just aren't working out very well for you. So if you feel that there's an area in your life where you're struggling, now is the time to go ahead and make a fresh start and a fresh way of approaching this area of your life. Here, I'm gonna move this incense so it stops going right in front if I can. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is all about hard work, working hard, working very focused. So when we focus our energies on the things in our life, and that's even worse. <clears throat> so let's move it over here. Sorry. Um, when we put our focus into the areas of our life that we need to find balance, um, you know, that's when we can start to see that rejuvenation happening in our lives. So what's blocking you? You're not giving that focus where it needs to be given. Um, he's working very diligently on just that one thing. He's focusing right there. Um, but we want to keep these things in balance. You can see they're kind of not in a straight line. So when we have everything in our life, you know, our ducks in a row, if you want to um, put it that way, um, that's when we feel our best. So he's saying you need to focus on getting that balance, getting that energy and alignment within yourself and just really give focus to the areas that need it the most right now and how you can remove the block is with determination and stamina um, so the acorns being the fire elements are all about action so he's telling you to take the action now and be determined in it um, be determined to get to that outcome to remove that blockage so when you put the focus in where it needs to be given and you really take the time to um, be focused on, on on that task at hand and getting that balance in your life and um, this one has you know um, some flora and fauna kind of swirling and twirling around so where you're feeling kind of held back this card is kind of saying it's time to break free it's time to light the fire underneath yourself it's time to take action. It's time to move forward. It's time to take the steps needed um, to give yourself that rejuvenation that you really need and 
focusing and balancing in your life is what is called for at this time. Okay, so next is if you picked pile two, the thing that you most need right now is patience. Nurture the seeds of patience and reap the rewards of personal achievement. So there's patience. Um, so what's blocking you? We have justice right here. And we have how to remove the block is the king of crystals. And he's all about courage and commitment. So how um, we can handle this? How can we get more patience in our life? What's blocking us? Justice. Justice is all about <clears throat> two sides. It's all about um, doing the things that are right for ourselves, bringing ourselves justice. It's about seeing, um, you know, it doesn't always have to be about law. A lot of people like to associate him with law, which if there is a lawsuit or something of the sort, yes, definitely. Um, but for me, he's about mental balance. He's about, he's holding a sword which swords are all about your intellect, your mental state, your thinking, your thought process. Um, so he's telling you here you need to have more patience in your life by kind of thinking about the areas where um, your thinking is kind of hurting you more than it's helping you. What is causing your impatience? What makes you feel impatient? What situations do you get yourself in or do you find yourself in where you're losing patience? Is there suspicion? a certain person, a certain situation, a certain something. Uh, he's telling you to address that. And how you can remove the black with the king of crystals, crystals being pentacles. Um, so again, we have that earthiness. Now, courage and commitment you need to have in order to handle um, the way you're thinking right now that is leading you to not have patience. So to get the patience, get your thinking under control, um, be fair to yourself, um, do the things that help you, maybe step back from helping other people right now, maybe now is the time that you put the focus on yourself. Um, being a major arcana card of justice, this is something that is definitely needed right now, you definitely need to really focus on your inner and mental um, health and well-being, um, because that's blocking you, you're not giving yourself that, that attention. So the king, now the king um, kings, you know, the court card, the king is, is at the top. He's he's the final court card. He's got the queen beneath him. He's got the knight beneath the queen, and then he's got the page beneath the knight. The page is where everything kind of starts. Um, you know, messages are sent, so the king would send the page out to deliver a message. The knight would then um, take the action on that message where the queen will nurture it, and then the king kind of can sit back and watch everything happen. So this king is committing himself to taking care of himself. In the justice card, he's, he's committing um, to taking care of, of his mindset. Um, this can be, you know, this is, this is the tiger. He's kind of fierce in the jungle, right? So he's telling us you can remove this block by being fierce in your life. Now is the time not to be meek. Now is the time not to be mild or well-mannered, <laughs> if you will. Now is the time to um, to really step out of your comfort zone and take responsibility and take that step to creating the life that you are comfortable living. And you may step on toes, you may hurt some people, or their feelings may be hurt even though you're being reasonable and rational about it. Um, but again, this is, this is about you right now. So you need to focus on yourself. And um, there is a uh, crystal tower here. So this is projecting. You, you need to project this, this, this courage um, and this commitment to the world and let the world know that you're not fooling around anymore. You're not playing games. Um, you're going to get what you want and you're going to get it the way that you need to get it. And it's okay to do that. It's okay to rule your own life because you are the king. And here, if you picked pile three, what you need most is confidence. Self-confidence opens you to the energy required to carry you through each day at your very best. What's blocking you is the Knight of Cups. 
and how to remove the black is the eight of crystals dedication and progress okay so confidence how can we get some confidence into our lives we're being blocked by the knight of cups which means we are being blocked by our um, impulsive emotions so the way that you're reacting to situations um, with your emotions this is kind of saying, you know, be a little bit more grounded. Crystals are pentacles. They're all about grounding and being rooted to the earth. So to, to remove the block of, of your emotions being a little impulsive and a little um, maybe misplaced, um, the crystals are telling you to be, be more dedicated to the progress of, of correcting an action, of correcting your emotional actions, right? So think about where you're feeling um where you're lacking confidence do you s see that there's like certain situations where you feel um you're quick to defend yourself you're quick to feel guilty you're quick to feel um offensive like offended and these are all um the king of night at work so think about how you can be more confident in your life what steps would you need to take to be more confident um, the eight of, of crystals here is is standing with you. You know this this bison or this buffalo. He's a very um, large presence, right? And he's hard to move. He's not something that's going to be moved easily and quickly. So he's determined. He's dedicated, and he makes a slow um, progress, right? He he doesn't move very fast and less provoked. So this is kind of saying, take your time. You don't have to make giant, huge changes all at once. Um, you can take your time. You can kind of plot your progress. You can kind of um, set yourself mini goals to getting to that larger goal. And that's going to make you feel confident because you're going to feel that you've accomplished something. I feel like accomplishment's a huge thing. You want to be known for something. You want to feel accomplished in life and you let your emotions kind of get in the way of that. So try to have some control over your emotions, be determined to have that balance in your life, um, have that steadiness, um, holding the cup with two hands instead of just one kind of thing. And <clears throat> you know, the night is ready to race in. So maybe kind of borrow from the queen of cups and have that like nurturing energy, um, but just kind of also bring in the king where you're just kind of watching over things. Like don't be so impulsive, don't be so quick to rush in head first. Like take the time to think about it. Take the time to stay grounded um, so that you're all, you, that you're balanced and, and you'll feel a lot more confident when you're making decisions from a better place instead of an impulsive place. I hope you guys enjoyed this pick a card reading video. Um, I hope to do more. So if you did like it, definitely give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment below with which um, pile you picked and if it resonated for you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.